Oh my god, I nailed it. I nailed it! 25. <laughs> Come to daddy. Well, all of came. Uh, could we order the guard to keep an eye on the servant? Of course. <clears throat> okay, so... The sheriff goes and does that while you guys have the room to yourself. Um, Dave, you um actually find well one she's naked underneath the blanket. Oh, she's naked. Everybody gets an XP bonus. <laughs> yeah. yep, you, you, need a Bingo. you need a twenty-five search check to be able to discover that though. So good job. Thanks. Um, um you actually find a um in the drawer next. Everybody to gets five points. Uh, basically, her nightstand. You find what looks like a receipt. That is from the scribe. And mm. David B, you find a silver dagger underneath her pillow. Well, that didn't protect her. So a silver dagger and. Can I take the silver dagger? Well, there ain't nobody in here looking, they're all outside. Take the way. Now, so did you find a lock? Dragon, what's up, buddy? Picture of Golfrey in it. This guy was awful popular, I'm telling you. <clears throat> now, this locket, was she. How did we find the locket again? Sorry, I'm just writing all this stuff down. It looked like she had been wearing it, but. Was she like clutching when her it throat got ripped out, it, No, when her throat got ripped out, it like fell up and then slid underneath her bed. Okay. Well, she was naked, guys, so everybody gets five points. So just give me That's a minute, you guys. guys. I'm searching the room and her body. So, should we pull the servant now? You guys going to go talk to the servant now? Yeah, I think we should talk to the servant. I want to talk with so. Okay. Uh, you guys head to the next room. Um, you see this girl. She's probably like 15, like sitting on a chair crying. I'm going to watch her real close. And stab her with a silver dagger to see if she re reacts. No, I want to see if she's lying. Go ahead and ask her some questions, bud. So when did you discover the body? Congratulations, guys! Everybody got five points. Less than an hour ago. Was it still warm? I hadn't seen her all morning. Um, I didn't actually touch the body. I could tell that she was gone when I entered the room. And I immediately went and got the guard. Were you here last night? No, she gave all of her servants the night off. Was she expecting anyone? Maybe uh, Golfrey? She said that um, her special customer was coming. Oh. Special? We don't know exactly who he or she is uh, whenever that happens. It's not an uncommon occurrence for her to get uh, a visit from this person. Does she keep any logs or records of her clients or her patrons? She prefers to not have any kind of paper trail that could lead back to her clients' families, if you know what I mean. But gotcha. do you know any clients' name, client names? Um, I know some. I know the names of people that she. Uh, has over for tea or goes to parties with and everything, but they don't fit the same description as the person that she sends everybody out of the house before she even has this person in. What's the description of this person? Then? If she's naked, I'll give her a log. <laughs> I've never seen them. Bomb, bomb, bomb. the description, but you, how can you say that and you don't know what the they descri like? Description as in she doesn't hide these everybody else from her servants. Like she does this guy, not necessarily physical description. Okay. So it is a guy. 
I'm going to use my street smart to see if she's holding something back or lying. Plus five. Yeah, that'd be an insight check. Wow, 28,000 views, guys. Wow, hit 28,000 views. That's a lot of people. Streetwise is like gathering information. Insight is to determine if someone's lying or being deceitful. 28,000. That's a lot. And then you rolled the two. Is that what that is? Well, I'm doing she seems thing. like she's being honest to you. And she, yeah, you guys make an insight check. If you, I'm assuming you're that's, plus five. that's plus five with that eight. Well, uh, I got plus four. All right. Um, what are we checking? Angro, she uh, seems like that she's not hiding anything. Okay, there's the one question. Uh, it, it was the first time that she let all servants go away from their home or whatever it is. No, this wasn't the first time that that she's done this. Basically, she has one customer that whenever this person visits her, she sends everybody home before the customer goes there. So, do you have any idea why this is happening? Is he dangerous or something? I'm not sure about dangerous. It may just be he wants extra discretion. He or she. My god. Sounds to me like the the uh, the person that comes here has a, a reason not to be seen. That means skill checks. Yes, maybe they're rolled one d twenty plus the modifier what do included. You think, and I'll sh I'll show you on my character sheet. High place, you know. There's a bunch of different skill checks. Place. Basically, carries Whatever everything, place. covers everything. Hmm. And everything modifiers depend on a, a, a stat modifier plus your half level as well. So maybe the pressure <clears throat> hmm. Well, that's an idea. Well, technically, we don't know that. Well, do we know that the locket was hers, or we just found the locket? And the chain. Yeah, you find that the, lock, the chain was broken and the locket was underneath the bed. Well, okay. Missy says that she wore it or torn off her when her throat was uh, cut out. Um, out of game question, by the way, is locket silver or something like that? No, yeah. it's gold. What's up, Burlocky? Oh, that's a shame. Burlocky's got 12 points. What's up? Keep hanging out in the channel, guys, and uh, we'll you're probably not keep getting get any points. More information out of the servant. She's told you what she knows. We beat her until she tells us she <laughs> did it. <laughs> <laughs> her feet with feathers. I'm gonna use my daily power hunter's bear trap on her, and no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <sighs> well, let's go check out these other people. Well, we should probably guess the golfer, guys. That is probably going to be our best bet. I mean, we've talked to some other players. He seems like uh, his name keeps coming up. So uh, we should probably guess him. We should have probably seen him sooner. So I agree. We're off to see this guy. Yeah, well, we can. Well, let's make that. Yeah, we can go see Jonah after a uh, golfer. Hopefully, golfer is not dead. So, yeah, maybe we can get his key uh, if he uh -huh. still has it. So uh, we're off. We're off to yeah, see golfer, golfer. I guess. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, you guys go to Golfy's place, and a servant answers the door. He's like, ah, honored. Yes, how can I help you? We are here to see uh, Lord Geoffrey. Golfer. Mm. Golfrey. Yep. Uh, Golfrey. Yep. 
Unfortunately, my master's not in right now. Where is he? He said he was going to go speak with Baron. Or, sorry, the lady, Marcosia. Well, he, he could be in danger, so we need to find him immediately. Well, let's go on to Lady Lagosia's place. I, when did he leave, by the way? I'm sorry, I'd like to do an insight check just to see if he's bullshitting us, that he's okay. not here. Sorry about that. I'll do the same. So do I. It is uh, Make your pretty important. Damn nasty rolls. We got to see if he's here, guys. So, man, we got some good rolls. Huzzah! Everybody's nailing him. All Holy right. crap! Agrod, you um, he seems to be telling the truth, but he not, may not be telling you the whole truth. Spit it out, boy! Like a so, sabret hot dog cart micro. Pressure. Anime freak, what's up? It's a he. I'm okay. leaving this to a uh, dwarf. So. Spit it out, boy. Tell us truth. Oh. And I lick the edge of my. <laughs> you have a maul. That's your weapon. A big ass two-handed hammer, by the way. He's got a maul. Yeah. <laughs> a mullet. A mullet. Yeah, his beard is a mullet as well, so... <laughs> okay, um... He says that, uh... He says he's not here, I, I, I swear. You mind if we're searched the place? He probably wouldn't appreciate you rooting through the house, but... I mean, good, I good, good, anime. where he was going. Good to be here. Good for you to be here. To we're glad to have you. Here because... We're having like a mystery yeah, game tonight, a one-shot by Zaven, one of our Gulag, viewers. So I don't know where else he'd be going. Well, well boy, looks well. like she likes forces. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Lady Rent uh, was just murdered about an hour ago. Uh, so See we, his eyes widen. We, yeah, uh, genuinely surprised. Yeah, we're actually really worried about him now. Uh, can you tell us anything about the relationship quickly? About the lady rent and him and your keeper, your master, or whatever your as far as I know, they, I mean they're friendly with each other. They've seen each other at bank or at uh, masquerades and parties and everything, and everybody gets along with Golfrey. So I don't know of anything more personal between the two of them. Has he had any strange visitors lately? Like kind of. Strange, real strange. He's been, he's been, he's been talking to uh, some of the miners a lot recently, more than normal. But I'm assuming that's just because they've been out of work for the past week and a half. Hmm. Anyone in particular? Maybe a boss? A lead? A foreman? He's like the, um... He's like, yeah, it's been the foreman named Alec. Alec. So, where uh, do we find this person? You know, check a tavern, I guess. <laughs> I can describe him to you. <laughs> Whoa! Mm. So, what do you think, people? Uh, w you have no clue where golfer is went. You said to said see the lady. Assume that he is. He's assuming that he went to go see Varen, and that he's been speaking to Alec, the foreman of the miners, basically a lot recently. Okay. All right. God, you are man. You are just totally fucking throwing all kinds of wrenches into the. Man, this is this is good. One more to the list we gotta look to talk to. Somebody make the call. Somebody direct us. Where are we going? Well, if we leave it to the wharf, we'll definitely go into tavern. Well, since this was the last murder or disappearance, I would think we'd see Alec the mining foreman before he gets killed. See, I said. And give justification for going there at least. 
things seem to be going in uh, in in numbers, you know. And I don't want an old trail. I want a new trail. And this Alex seemed to be a dwarf, and I might be able to get some information if he knows something. Drinking buddy, I'm willing. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Let's do it then. So, so where does he go to drink? Do you know? He uh, gives you directions to a shady uh, tavern that a lot of like the common people frequent. The gushing, the gushing eyeball. eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> the whispering eye. Okay, if you guys are coming, let's do it. <laughs> The Whispering Eye. That's such a great name. <laughs> <laughs> Little mouth on the eyeball. I'm whispering. Yeah. Okay. Um, you guys start heading there, and actually while you're traveling down the road... That's a good question, by this anime. ...pretty well-off manner, and you hear a scream from inside and something smash. For what What rule set? Same place we left? <clears throat> no, it's a different house. We barge in. As you're, as you're walking towards there. Let's run up to the door and... Dwarf, bust the, the door down. Head well, first. Well, you see battery in There you go. Especially if we hear crashes and stuff, does it, I mean, does it sound like you a struggle? You hear a scream or? from inside, and then it's instantly cut off. Oh, we're in there. We're fucking we're in there like swimming. Okay. We gotta be. Well, I'll kick the door down. Oh, I'm out. Oh. Fucking burning every power I got. <laughs> My legs are moving double time. I set a bear trap at the door. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> On the outside. <laughs> yeah, actually I do. I tell every I tell the party I'm putting a bear trap out here. So what if it's not up here? Oh, I'm just saying. Just give me a second. <laughs> yeah, you you captured little Timmy in your bear trap, and his leg is buckled and shattered into a million pieces. <laughs> All right, can everybody see? Oh yeah. Yep. All right, as you burst through this front door, um, dynamic lighting and everything's working too, right? You only see like an L-shaped room. Oh yeah, looks good. Okay. You burst into this room, you see a smashed table that is that coffee table there. No, I don't run up there yet, I'm describing the room. And um, you, see, you see four giant rats, one of them with like bone protrusions bursting out of it. Oh boy. And... Um, Basically, as you come in and they look to you and they start coming for you, so it is going to be initiative. Oh, sweet! I wanted first crack at this sucker. Okay, so if you click on your token there is an initiative button that you can just push and it should instantly put it in the turn tracker for you as well. Um, out of game, closed again. I really couldn't tell you anything about Pathfinder. click on your token, you should have a macro bar along the top of your screen. Take it easy, Berlocky. See you later. Stay in the channel and gain your points if you can. If you can't, take it easy. We'll see you next time. Also, guys, uh, I need a couple players for Friday night. I need three players for a Pathfinder game. So I just need... I'm, we're starting Pathfinder in two weeks, so... The rogue, okay. You just need the cleric and the fighter girl in the shift. I need people that are uh, on your token willing to show up every oh, week. Oh, you're not in roll 20 again. Uh, no. Yes, I am. If you're a guy, you're going to play a male character. If you're a female, you you'll play a female character. Uh, no cross-gender characters. Uh, everybody is a neutral alignment. No lawful good and, and chaotic cleric. evil in the same party. It it just doesn't happen. Uh, so if anybody um, is willing to be in a uh, a game, uh, a long-term game, 
Uh, and we're going to be playing the beginner's box set with the core rule set classes. Do you have an initiative button, or do you not? So, oh, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's not going to be a massive combat maneuver Pathfinder go. Society game. Uh, so I if anybody is interested in playing Pathfinder, uh, I do have three spots available, and uh, I am going to uh, speak with you. Right, you I'm just it. not going to uh, let anyone in. I see, uh, Carl, uh, click on your token. There's an initiative button. I'm actually possible. going to interview people. So if anybody is interested, please send me a, a message here on Twitch oh. or on my website, tabletopping.net, via the contact button. And I will give you information uh, to team speak, and you can come in and we'll talk. Uh, but yes, I, I, I am looking for a a well meshing party. I, I, I have edit token that uh, is uh, that wants to do team work, right -click not fight one another or so anything like that. It, so and then you should have a macro bar at the top of your screen. It is going to be every Friday from 8 p.m. to midnight every Friday, Friday night. Inner C campaign setting, so I can just roll for you. Go ahead. <clears throat> All righty. First one up is actually, yeah, it'd be uh, Keldorn. You're up first. You have a movement of five. The monsters are on the right side. You have a standard action and a move action. You can move through your party members. We are starting at level one, move yes. There, and I'm going to lay it on to Okay, which one are you attacking? The one with the bone spines on okay, the okay. reaping strike. All right, click your reaping strike. That's 10 versus AC. That is a miss. All that but hype. <laughs> but you did attack it, so he is marked by you. Peleus, your turn. I'm going to back up just a foot or two. Nah, you already moved. You have to stay there. That's your turn. Okay. Look at you trying to... Come on, Gim. Well, Paleo, you there? there? I wanted to make room for you guys. Paleus, are you there? Hello? Oh. I'm going to use the Scorching Burst on the uh, giant rat that's <laughs> in the corner. Come on, guys. If you're going to join one shots, just come on, guys. Give... Give some respect to the DM and let's let's play and do it. 18 against reflex and that is a hit. And a burst one, so it's everything around them for seven damage. So the two giant rats there and ins instantly go up in flames and they die, and the one with the bones in it takes seven damage. Screeches and pain from the flame. Awesome. Good job. Are you going to move or are you good? I'm fine where I'm at right now. Okay. Come to Papa. That one comes through the open door there. Actually, it's going to go right there. And it's going to attack you, Keldorn. There's more than one. Damn. Yep. Party time. 11 versus your AC, which is a miss. So it comes running out of that door, leaps at you, and you just bat it out of the air as it tries to bite you. Welcome to my world. Another giant rat comes running through that door. And that one attacks you. Dang. 
10 versus AC, same thing, doesn't come anywhere near you because of your armor. And Shroud, it is your turn. Okie dokie, let me see if I can get this right here. Can I move here? There. I'm yep. A backstab on me. Now, can I do a backstab or uh, just a regular melee on this guy? You'd have to move up one more square. But, uh, if you do do that, though, you will get an attack of opportunity against you. Um, you do have a bonus to your AC2 attacks of opportunity if you look on your sheet. Um, otherwise, you move there and you don't get your sneak attack damage, or if you do take the attack of opportunity, you'll get your additional 2d8 damage to your sneak attack. If you and we'll stop right here for right now and just do a basic okay. All right, and you rolled a six against AC, and that is a miss. Lovely. <laughs> but we were all sucking. Because, yep. yeah, you have a 21 AC against opportunity attacks. 16 otherwise. Oh, well, I'll right. run this sooner or later. <laughs> Balasar, your turn. All right then, so uh, the bolting strike to the newcomer spine thing, uh, spine rat. Okay, move up to it. All right, new bolstering strike. That is, it is a twenty-six for his AC, which is a hit. So it does take 6 damage, and you gain 2 temporary hit points. Neat. If you click on your token, the red circle is where I'm putting uh, temporary hit points. So, I, I can just do it. So. Well, it was 2, right? Yep, I put it in there, that's why you got the red bar there. So basically if you take damage, it comes out of the red bar first. Okay. And the rat took six damage. Good here. Kill, kill them all. Okay, you um. Let me change this real quick. This man rat comes running out of the other room across the hall, uh, opens the door, and attacks Adrian. <laughs> hey, what you doing? Eleven versus AC, and that's a miss. All right, Adrian, your turn. All right, I'm going to perform a. Oh, so I actually have one on me, so I will take a uh, opportunity attack if I shit balls. Uh, <laughs> You'll take an opportunity attack if you shit balls. Well, I had a like a grand move worked out, but uh, all right, I'm going to. Fuck! I can't even shift without. I'm in a bad place here, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and mark him as my quarry, uh, the the where rat and directly in front of me, and Cut out. Uh, I'm going to mark him as my quarry. Okay, I will put a pink circle on. Thank you, and I am also going to I'm going to use uh, twin strike as well, and I will take the opportunity attack. Okay. And I will go ahead and uh, attack him. So if you want to do your attack first on me. Which is a miss. Okay. Uh, and I will go ahead and light his ass up now with one strike. Do you want me to roll twice or just once? The power will instantly roll it twice. Oh, well, you're, you're the man. So the first attack was 20 against AC for 3 damage, and the second was 24 versus AC for 2 damage, and then he's your quarry. So there's a quarry button as well. You can push for the extra damage. Yep. Got it. So three, three, and two, and that yeah, 
he's got he's got less than 20 AC, so he takes eight damage.